Oh my gosh. Okay. Back in World War Two. Let's see what we have here. World War Two. And he brought home a bunch of stuff. He brought it home in an old trunk. Here's some restricted information. Here's a Japanese flag that he brought home from World War II. And he didn't capture it, of course, because he was a pilot. He traded some alcohol for it and got it from a Marine. Here's a hat that he, that he wore as a pilot on a B-29 and they drew little bombs on the visor for every mission that they flew. And in the event that things didn't go well, here's some emergency parachute rations. Here's the original headphones that he wore on his 25 missions. Another can of rations. I wonder if it's any good. Here's a World War II first aid kit. And this was a mirror that they were to use to signal if they were shot down they could signal other planes for help. And inside this package is a flare that would have come in handy had they been shut down. And it got pretty cold up there, so they had gloves. And he came home with this salt and pepper shaker made out of ammunition. These were dropped from the airplanes, and they're made of aluminum. And it would be a big, long, spirally thing falling down from the sky that was designed to mess up the Japanese radar. They used to drop these by the thousands. And these were keys to the bombs. So when they wanted to activate the bombs, get them ready to roll out and drop down on the Japanese Empire, these were the keys that they pulled out. And then the bomb would be armed. Before going to Japan, my father was stationed in Atlantic City for a little while. And this is a little souvenir. And how about a 66-year-old package of Wrigley's Spearmint Gum. And some other goodies in this little box. This little pouch contains a map which was actually made on cloth. It showed the Japanese Empire. And here's a map of Japan. And you can see it's made out of almost like a, feels like silk. Dog tags. Uh oh. Live ammo. And I don't really know what was in this. It's empty now. And a jackknife. Big one. Survival tool. Aerial photos showing where to drop the bombs.
And oddly enough, here's a beach towel that was made available to the military. It says they were on Guam in 1945. There's his khakis for the summer. And his Lieutenant Colonel Air Force uniform.